Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nigel and this is Off Grid Van Life. Uh, this is the second of these videos where I'm unboxing a battery that we've been given. Uh, so this company, Power Road, uh, reached out to us. Like a, we get a lot of emails and people reaching out to us saying, oh, I'm the best lithium ion phosphate battery supplier in China. And uh, here's my list of products and my price list. Let me know how many you want to order. We get that all the time. And uh, but most of the time, my response is just, that's if I don't just ignore the email. Most of the time, my response is just, oh, send us some samples, we'll test them. If we like them, then we'll consider an order. And uh, so with these guys, they're the, one of the first companies that have, I have been like, okay, yeah, sure. We'll send you some samples, see what you think. So these are the uh, batteries that we've received. So in the previous video, uh, we did the capacity test and the unboxing for the 100 amp version. I don't know what's in here might be another 100 amp um, battery or it might be something different. So we're gonna unbox it and go through the same process. I'll talk through what I like, uh, how good it is. And before, we'll probably land up actually stripping these down to see what the components are inside. Uh, but we uh, will initially just do a capacity test just to see is it even worth pursuing. Uh, and uh, then that might give us a bit more interest into what is in there uh, if we know how well they perform. So we'll open this one up and uh, we'll see what we have in this box. So the other one was packaged slightly differently. Lithium ion phosphate, live PO4 battery for all sorts of different applications. Compatible with AGM battery chargers. That's interesting. Okay. This is a slightly different uh, battery layout to the other one, obviously. Um, in terms of the case. But I suspect that the internal components are probably identical. Same sort of case size as the other one. But yeah, it looks like, looks pretty good so far. Good, um, looks like decent quality build as far as the outside of the case. So yeah, uh, I suspect without uh, stripping the battery down that the, um, Components are probably identical in this one, just a slightly different case and layout, uh, very similar standard cases uh, to what we have. Um, this one probably is a little bit more basic by the looks of it in that I don't know that this one has Bluetooth. Um, I don't see any evidence of that. It doesn't say on the case itself. So that's the other one is probably like the, the upgraded version or the, the more fancy version. Um, but yeah, we'll do the same with this one. We'll charge it up to 100% state of charge. Then we'll discharge it and uh, see what happens uh, before we actually potentially strip it down and, and see what's inside it. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna leave this charging. And uh, once it's fully charged up to a full state of charge, we'll then put the capacity tester on it run it down and uh, see if they pull capacity. All right, so this battery is now fully charged. So we're gonna take the charger off, stick the capacity tester on and see if it pulls the full capacity. And uh, once we've done that, then we'll probably pull it apart and see what's inside here. You can carry on, it's fine. Right, so the uh, capacity tester is showing 14.4 volts, so full state of charge on this. Um, <clears throat> my cables on my tester just had M6 lugs on the end, so I've just put them under the side of these bolts and just um, tightened them down. And because it's pulling such a, a low amperage, that'll be totally fine. So hold the button down to reset the tester. So we are down to zero. And then I'll crank this guy up, probably to around 15 amps, uh, thereabouts. Uh, has a safety cutoff of a certain wattage just uh, to so that it doesn't overheat. So I'll probably set this on 12 amps. 
So that'll take the best part of probably eight hours if the battery pulls capacity. So that's rated at 100 amps. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Um, I'm going to leave this running and the battery should have a low voltage disconnect. If it doesn't, then it's a uh, worthless paperweight. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave it until it hits the low voltage disconnect. And then I will see if it pulled capacity and we'll update you guys once it's done that. Okay, so here are, is the results from this one. So this is again a 12.8 volt, similar to the other one, 100 amp hours. Um, and this is the PRL R100 power road, lithium battery. And it pulled 107 amp hours, so uh, not too bad. Pretty, pretty pleased with that result. Uh, this is the more basic battery that doesn't have the Bluetooth built in. And uh, so we again, we just ran this down to the low voltage disconnect on the um, BMS. And it hit that and it pulled capacity. So pretty pleased with that. So there we have it, folks. Uh, that's the results of this battery. Pulled capacity, like the other one, we're probably going to be opening it up, have a look at what's inside, see what cells they've used, BMS, all that sort of stuff. So stick around for that if you're interested in seeing that. Hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.